I was about to take my ass to bed after, I mean, I just done a live. Make sure you watch my latest live streams. I'm going to try to um, get them in. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to too, but, but it's hard. I'm doing some hard times. Um, so when I say hit the like button, ain't no joke. When I say donations are appreciated so I can continue to, to really give you the content, this is about change, but I have to work multiple jobs to make ends meet. So y'all got to take that into consideration. If you can help these guys who talk about nothing, these heifers who don't talk about nothing and make them and make, and you just, y'all just cash at them. Y'all give them PayPal payments. Y'all super chat them. And I'm looking at the, 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 the dollar signs and I'm like, damn, and they're, they're not even talking real shit. Y'all buying their products. Y'all, y'all supporting their lifestyle. And they're not even trying to do no real work out here. They're not even about that stuff. Let me say this. Let me put y'all on some real shit. And y'all can say whatever the fuck you want about KS. If you can't call out Cynthia G, sit your ass down. If you can't call out Derek Jackson, shut the fuck up. If you cannot call out Dr. Umar Johnson, you need to be quiet. If you cannot call out the fraud of, like, you know, Melanie King, sit your ass down. You can't call out Chantal Simone, who's another fraud. Chantal, uh, Chantal Simone, she is the biggest fraud. If you can't call out these panda bear, these panda male heifers who are making, who you making the money and they ain't saying nothing real. You can't call out just pearly things that they, they don't give a fuck about the issues of men. They just want to make money. They should have their ass. Yes, I said it. They should have their ass checking on women, speaking on the issues of women. If they can't want to, if they really advocate for men, they would actually get laws changed. The fact that most women are not trying to do that, that tells you that they want, they love the gynocracy. They love the privilege. They love to have more all power and no all responsibility. They love the gynocratic positions that they have. The, the welfare system, how it is for all these heifers. They love how they get to have, they get to wreck their homes and get their behavior be wrong. They get to have their bad behavior rewarded while you got to be accountable. They love the fact that they can make false allegations against a man and, and, and they use the law, law enforcement and the court system and the authorities as a bat, who are the batteries in the back, saying like these politicians. These women ain't trying to overturn this system. Think about it, guys. If they really cared about you, they would do. That's why I don't understand why you keep really keep um, whining and dining these hoes. For me, them days are them days have been been over for the last decade. The whining and dining, and you ain't. But she giving the dude top and giving the dude cheeks, her cheeks to be corrected. Nah, man. I'm not, I don't, I'm not on that. I got to pay a cost, but the last thing is, it's not, look, I'm not in her, I don't care what she does for her body. I don't care what she does with her own money, but you're not going to come at me with no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I got to touch on this topic. I made a stitch. I, I reposted the stitch um, from... One of my from one of my shorts, and the brother with the tattoos. He got tattoos, you know. He got a he popular. I mean, I wouldn't fuck with him like that, you know. We got like we got we're we're the only thing we got in common we're black men, man. I'm not I don't have a problem with him. I don't have any, do I agree with everything he says and does? I don't do I agree with how he lives his life, but it's not who. But you know, I don't agree with everything he does, says and does. You probably wouldn't agree with everything I says and does. The only thing we got in common is, you know, when it comes to these issues pertaining to black men. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to speak on this. And I'm not coming out of no disrespectful place, but I got a um, doll face. You know, you got to look at these women's social media, doll face. Okay. Does she got any videos? 
And here's the thing. She don't have no videos on me. I mean, I don't know what her situation. I don't know. She may, She just might, she might just want to watch content, okay? Not an issue here. This is exactly why I asked you guys. Are all black women worth protecting? Me? Hell no. They're not. Mo most, the majority of women ain't worthy of protecting. I got a question. Do they do they protect the protector? Are there willing are are women willing to be fit from and cooperative? If the answer is no, hell no. If you can't respect my leadership, because that comes with authority. If you can't respect and me talking about relationship, now if you talk about some random dude, that's crazy that you expect a random dude that you're not taking care of, you're not nurturing. You're not supporting. You're not even protecting him, looking out for him, so he wouldn't have to actually put his life on the line, ladies. You're not willing to accept his leadership. You're not willing to to be compliant. You're not willing to be obedient. See, that's a, see, I don't like those type of words. We're not trying to be submissive, but you're submissive to the plantation of white zaddy. Y'all be submissive to the Democratic Party. Y'all be submissive and comply to these white bitches who don't give a fuck about you. Y'all be submissive to everybody else but the black man, but you want the black man to protect you. My thing is, why should I put my life on the line for a woman that I'm never going to be with, a woman who will never be there for me, who will never be there for me? I'm not, And I don't look, I'm just saying in general. <laughs> who would never defend me if I was, you know, if a female tried to lie on me, a female tried to set me up, a female tried to Lay hands on me. Oh, female women who try to give me the Cardi B treatment. Hey, there's women who can take a man down. She got weapons, man. She, I saw a woman throw bleach in a man's face. I don't know what was the argument was. It was in a Philadelphia bus. The man was, it was an older man. These hyenas, the, call, the guy was Caucasian, right? Now, I don't know what was said. So she there was a there was some she, there was a back and forth, and I'm like this. These females could have just walked away. Now if it, now here's the thing, called you the the ninja the n word. Look, sh I don't know, but but the but normally the response I would expect. Okay, you can you can really put hands on this person. You know, you can cancel this person, but to me it was it, didn't it was not that. Now, I wouldn't, but I don't know. I'm just saying how okay. You know, knowing my people, you get to throw some smoke, or you will you will probably roast if you know if you can withstand being called racial anti-black slurs. Okay, so let me tell you a story. Let me finish. Let me finish with the story. I should say, she had a bottle of bleach and threw it in this man's in this man's eyes. She attacked him. Dude, telling her like, "Yo, and for, see, I can see that. See, I, I couldn't see it when, when I see people um, have carry stuff with their hands. I'm not even military trained. I just have that. You know, I'm martial art. I mean, I took martial arts and." I did some street fighting. I had to carry stuff when I was walking, living in the hood somewhere. Um, uh, me dealing with being the token brother in a, a racist Caucasian and Asian environment, very anti-black, very anti-black man, a lot of black misandry out in central New Jersey, out in Plainsboro, West Windsor, New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Um, you had to be ready. I mean, people kept fucking with you. And you would get in trouble as the black man for you if you stood up for yourself. Not saying black women didn't have their issue, but a lot of times they would be bullying brothers who didn't fit the stereotype. The fact that these females spit on this man's face through bleaching his eye and permanently blind him for life. And these women are supposed to be sweet, gentle creatures. Ain't nothing that man could have said unless probably the N-word. But I say that you that wouldn't be the that would you probably just put hands and try to square up. You probably should would have just went with, with you know use your hands and feet. Or or but the fact that you sprayed bleach in this man's eyes. You made a spray bottle and you're carrying bleach like Yeah, they're not carrying a mace. 
But you have women who makes a man, a random person, random man, maybe sometimes a woman, just because they're, they, they they know they can get away with that type of fuckery and say I'm a, I was a fear of my life, like a like these coward ass cops, right? But these pro blacks, pro black males, bitch ass niggas, these pro whack females, these bitter ass leftover, nobody wants some post wall heifers, never called it out. They always blaming shit on the black man. But they talk about they're for the people, but they are very black misandric. Look, I don't not saying now, and they like to take jet, they like to call out. I agree, there are some issues with some, there's some fucktards in the male sphere, but there's a lot of more fuckery in when it comes to black feminism and when it comes to the, to, to, when it comes to women, these men, these boss bitches, boss hoes, you'll have a lot more fuckery than a, than a small, small ass, goofy manosphere. And fake red pill content, uh, fake red pillars. Y'all want to tell see, see, this is the problem. You got so much black misandry with Black Lives Matter, but they don't value black lives. But let me just stay on the subject. Y'all say black women are worth protecting, but y'all, but when is the, you're, you're going to cancel the, these the fake Black Lives Matter that make make money off of a black male death, wrongful imprisonments and shit. I feel like if you could laugh at a black man that lost his life just because you didn't agree on the things he said, you're not worth protecting at all. Facts. So doll face. We have a, you know, we have a, um, she looks Caucasian. I, I don't have a problem with the Caucasian, um, with the Caucasian female. And I'll be, you know, I be giving them the business. These white feminists, um, y'all like to make these um, barbecue Becky's, Karen's. I call these racist bitches for the what the fuck. Are. Not saying she is, but I'm speaking in general. So you had Jacqueline Hadley that said, "Rest in peace, Kevin. Rest in power, Kevin." No, no problem with that. But you had a black woman who, and, and this is where I'm, I'm trying to give grace. Who says this is hilarious? What's even more funny the fact that the only comment. Let me read what the doll face said. This is hilarious. What's even more funny is the fact that the only other comment is a non black woman saying, R.A.P. Kevin, rest in peace, rest in power, Kevin. And I'm trying to find out why, why that's an issue. So I asked her. As you can see, what's your issue with her R.I.P. Rest in peace. Rest in power, Kevin Samuels. Are you with black women supporting effeminate males like Derek Jackson, these bitch ass niggas? Yes, I said that. And those racist anti-black misandries. Um. These these non black these these non black folks, these K's, these Caucasians, these Asians, who did not, and these and especially these white males who didn't like the fact that Kevin Samuels did put white women in their place. I wish he would have did more often, but he did from time to time. Even though his whole meat, bread and butter was really going in on black women, and actually a lot of and a, and a side of this is a lot of times you women you sit you melanated the heifers. Y'all took pleasure, a sick pleasure of him letting him disrespect y'all. If this man was so disrespectful, the fact that y'all kept trolling his show, going into his show, asking for advice that you had no interest in doing, some of y'all just want to clap. Let's just keep it real. Like, why would you keep asking man for answers? Then when he gives you an answer, you want to curse him out and disrespect him. But you would never pull that shit with um, low-key racist Adam22. You wouldn't pull that shit with low-key racist just pearly things. Y'all wouldn't pull that shit with these white male, with these white contests, with these white male, and these, especially these white female podcasters. Y'all would just be quiet. And let them talk to you in your own type of way. 
That wouldn't be me. Like I told y'all, I'm, I'm built different. <clears throat> and my, and, and my, the, even people in my family, yeah, he built different. Like, they, they're trying to figure that out too. This is what she wanted. This is what she said. I have no, I have no issue with her. R.I.P. Kevin Samuels comment. I found it just. I found it hilarious that she's the only other comment on this type of post. Well, here's the thing. I have a small channel, and a lot of these people don't want to support truth. They don't want to support uh, a, a man like me, who's on revolutionary time. But he's about black. He, he, but he, but here's the thing that makes me different. I call out black misandry, anti-black misandry. That's nobody. That's why nobody want to fuck with me, dollface. I call out racism, white supremacy, and I call out black people who be on some on coon shit. And I call out black people who be coon, who are sellouts and very gynocratic, democratic idiots. And I call out black people for the fact that they're anti-black misandry. The black misandry. That's why I don't get no damn views. I have red, and I have a red, and I do give a red pill perspective about the gernocracy and the matriarchy in this black community and how there's no fucking patriarchy. For your understanding. The fact that I advocate for natural order of natural act and how black manhood needs to be rooted in black pride and black womanhood needs to be rooted in black in black pride and y'all need to stop being so fucking Europeanized regardless of what the men are on or not doing women y'all 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 are only people who can address each other but you have women like the crimson cure who try to help y'all y'all don't respect the sister You have a few female con black female content creators who are actually support who actually are balanced. No pandering. Even though I don't agree with Pink Book Lessons on her, or, but sometimes she be on some cool shit. And so I mean, I'm sorry, Pink Book Lessons. Because sometimes you have sometimes you got I'm like no disrespect to Pink Book Lessons. Even though she calls out black women in their fuckery, I gotta give her help. But sometimes, man. Sometimes it's just it's just sometimes a lot of you women who do slam black women. Sometimes it's coming from a place of you have personal issues with these women, and a lot of times you have many black women who are black female content creators who are part of the so the the, the, the manosphere who make red pill content. It's just regurgitated. They don't do it because they care about men. They do it because they want to chase a bag, and they reinforce the whole slave mentality. But there's nothing revolu revolutionary in their approach. That's the difference. Okay. <clears throat> to continue. <laughs> Laughing out loud. Additionally, I have no real issue with Kevin Sands aside from his dislike. From, from disliking his delivery. And some of what he says. Now, she don't go into what is, what is the problem that you had with Kevin Samuels? specifically of what he says. So you want him to sweet talk y'all? That don't work. We got why don't we gotta change our tone? What about for the last 50 goddamn the last 50 plus years, 60 years, how black women have gone on these platforms of national television, these these um media networks, these black misandry racist media networks and how she sided with white supremacy slamming black men demonizing black men were there some true statements but it was a lot of it was exaggerated y'all deal with 10 percent. not i'm not saying you many of y'all deal with a small percentage of bums and then y'all want to demonize but the dudes who are decent y'all don't respect them the dudes who are decent who are good who are decent maybe not be perfect but they're well to do, do what they're supposed to do. You don't respect these dudes who are who are well to do because you take them to divorce or over eighty percent of divorces are initiated by women, and black women are how are the most divorcing heifers. We're talking about dudes with money and resources, and they wreck wreck homes, 
just so they can get the bag and take care of a bum ass nigga. But the the alimony and child support is not for the kids. The alimony, she's irresponsible with that shit. Child support is about buying her, taking care of her bum ass family, not her kids. It's about buying, taking care of a bum, her girlfriends, and trying to look important. No investing in the children. No paying her bills on time. She don't even deal. She don't because that because I will argue and I will say this. That let's just say she shouldn't get neither. You should just co-parent and work things out or stay in a relationship and be quiet like your grandparents and great grandparents did. Because trust me, a lot of these a lot of men who stayed in relationships, a lot of you women were toxic and abusive too. It's just men are not allowed to talk about it. But when we start talking about, it, oh, you can't talk about women. Oh, you're you're feminine. Oh, it's like so fucking stupid. These these, these stupid, uh, and you got you got tone policing when it comes to black men it, it, having their grievances. Now I will argue. I'll say this too. The the issue I got with men talking about women, you talk about some of you. You lot of you dudes talk about surface shit. No, let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get let's get before them. That's why I ask you. If you're gonna be talking about women, there's no point in talking about and complaining about women and female nature if you don't want to get to the nitty gritty. You want to call her deluge, you know. You want to do reaction of, uh, of Kendrick Goofy G. <laughs> Kendra G, who's a who's an opportunist, talking about, you know, and she trying to talk like Kevin Samuels, and these women gonna get on here and just talk about how much they want, like got a got a bunch of kids out of wedlock or a, a failed marriage and a bunch of kids from a dude who's a bum, got multiple failed relationships, ruined a, a, ruined good relationships with decent men and wrecked at home. With divorce because she thought she could do better, and she she she's a failure. And all of a sudden, you so you got the high value man, so called high value man, for a bum, and you you're bum and broken, destitute, and your kids are suffering, abuse and trauma. Okay, you failed your relationship. You wrecked it. You left a decent man just so you could be a city hoe. Because you have a problem with black male authority, but you have more respect for white male and Asian male authority and Arab male authority. You respect these non-black male groups who treat you all like shit for real. The self-hatred of black women has never been addressed. And I stand by Cheryl Ali. Nobody can hold black women accountable for their fucking toxic behavior. Their fucking coon, degenerate, negro, bed wrench, bed wrench, mammy, ghetto gagging behavior. Look how many you can you can look at black women who divested, who swirled, they interracially, they foreign men, and how they getting fucked up out here and and, and and getting murdered and cold blooded. Kids getting harmed. When, a lot of black women getting murdered by these non-black men and these non-black women. You had a black woman who was who went on, who had a girls' trip with a bunch of white hoes out in Georgia, and she fell to her death. No, she got jumped and ambushed by. She got the basically the Shancor treatment. These cave bitches, Becky. These cave hoes beat up on this black woman, and there were probably some males there too, and threw off a goddamn balcony out in the state of Georgia. I cover her. I cover that. That that. I cover that report. Did any of you black women supported me? Did any of y'all try to get this black, make sure this black woman got justice? Or are you trying to find a blame back on the black man? See, that's the problem. So when I talk about how black women are getting harmed by non-black men, that's more prob more problematic than you know the whole so-called black and black crime narrative. Y'all silence. Y'all defend clowns like Derek Jackson. Y'all define these these panda these panda bears who panda y'all and lie to y'all. That's what frustrates me. Not saying you, know, I'm saying in general. So you laughing out loud. He's talking talking about laughing out loud. Additionally, I have no issue with Kevin Sanders aside from his dislike delivery, but he spoke truth to power. He spoke some. He was on point with those facts, and sometimes that delivery was necessary. What about the black woman's delivery towards the black man? I don't want to hear this two wrongs to make a right. We're past that point. A lot of you women have nasty ass deliveries too. Worse than us, okay? 
Kevin Sanders had a harsh delivery towards the men. Y'all don't say nothing about that. Why would I, you and you asking me here? Why would you assume I'm a fan of Derrick Jackson? I didn't assume anything, baby. I didn't assume anything. I asked a question. But see, this is what happens when, and no, no, women are not this emotionally. Should not be emo, an emotional degenerate heifer, emotionally toxic and dysfunctional, and narcissist, cold-hearted, all about me, me, me. No, that's not. No, that's a. That's not. No. That's some Western modern ho shit. But I digress. Y'all been socialized so badly. We've been socialized so badly under gynocracy. Especially in the black community. Especially with this toxic, with this white feminist bullshit. I'm not assuming that you are a fan of Derek Jackson. You did have a valid point. The man who cheated on and embarrassed his wife not a fan of the guy either. Well, here's the thing. Um, the, his wife embarrassed herself. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But my thing, the wife embarrassed herself by, by her fuckery. Because she made, she had a choice. She could have handled whatever issue behind closed doors. And I think, I don't know who filed for divorce first. But my thing was... She knew about his fuckery. She probably didn't care at first. Now she has an issue with it. This is the problem with a lot of you women. Yes, this could, this could be a problem for a lot of you dudes too. Because y'all let women cheat on y'all and disrespect y'all. Me personally, monogamy is not natural. It's not natural for women. I said women first because a lot of y'all be capping. A lot of y'all don't fuck with monogamy. That's why y'all wanted this sexual liberation shit. Monogamy ain't natural for men either, and a man should have more than one wife. But y'all, but 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 what I don't understand is that many women are okay with do running through women, pumping and dumping the, the as long as it's a temp a small percentage. But a man who wants one more, who's about nation building, wants more than one wife for 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 progression, and because you know y'all say here's the thing: there's there's most there's the in the in in Western society you have more women than men. Y'all ain't gonna find no man. That, not, it's impossible because men die early and men get harmed and deal with violence early. Sacrifice their life in the line. But y'all don't factor that in. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't factor that shit in. So, but if a man has more than one wife and he's able to do that, because first of all, you can have money, but you, if you're not built mentally and emotionally and psychologically, to handle multiple women like that and have multiple but, but y'all okay with dudes who have multiple baby mamas, but y'all don't but y'all believe in monogamy. Y'all but y'all believe in monogamy and you're against polygamy or polygamy. you but but y'all be sharing dudes anyway. Like that don't make no sense to me. Y'all y'all don't make no sense. And y'all wanna have multiple dudes and you wanna have dudes in your rotation. So the the hypocrisy of people, but the hypocrisy of a lot of you women, you're capping. Y'all just say that because y'all don't want to look like hoes, but y'all support whole culture. Regardless of what the men are on, on some bullshit or not, y'all can say hell to the no. Like y'all say, my body, my choice. My issue is some black men look for an excuse not to defend and protect black women. Like I said, fuck, why should I defend and protect a woman that has no respect for black men who got misandry? I'm not saying you, but I don't know you. Why? It's not my job to protect the woman I don't know. It's her job to, to stop playing around and stop being a 304 and find a husband. Preserve your cooch. Preserve your womb. Y'all know y'all can protect yourself in many ways, not to put yourself in harm's way. Why are you looking for dudes for dick after 2 o'clock in the morning? Nothing good happens past 2 a.m. A lot of y'all be selling yourselves out here. A lot of y'all be fighting up. My thing is you want protection, learn how to protect your damn self. Learn self-defense. Hand-to-hand combat. Knife uh, um, weapon training. Gun training. Learn that shit. My thing, the best way 
to have to handle fights is to do, never put yourself in that position. Stop looking for conflicts and stop trying to escalate situations that are e that you can easily diffuse through common sense and and and, and, and just be, with respect. Being, you know, somebody disrespect you can check. I'm not saying you should be a a, a pushover. I'm saying is a lot of the confrontations y'all can y'all don't have to escalate them. A lot of you women get off to escalating shit and you're looking for random dudes to save you. Stop that bullshit. Stay in a woman's place. I know this is not going to be popular. I don't care. Stop looking for problems. Stop being in other people's business. Stop trying to be a side chick. Stop trying to take her man. Because my thing is when it comes to protection, do you want me to protect you from these heifers? Because I would argue you need more protection from these heifers than them crazy dudes that these females be raising. A lot of y'all try to stop try, stop trying to be a man and try to try to go toe-to-toe. Well, Calvin, there are men who know. There's first of all, when men go toe-to-toe, you talk about these uh, the, these um blue these blue pill beta pookie and ray ray type of guys, stop dealing with them too. My thing, me going toe to a chick. First of all, we have disagreements. I'm you say something fucked up, I'll say, I'll check you. I know I mean I will go I have no sometimes you need a little tit for tat, but I try to do that in a way of helping us understand the situation on both sides, my side and your side. <clears throat> my thing is I have I have no problem going to toe toe to toe. We go to toe to toe in the bedroom, right? I have no me going to toe to toe. I mean, my thing is you say so you you got a pocket. I have a right to check the disrespect, and then and that and that's it. You insult me, you should be able to take it. You should be able to take it. You want to get in a man, get in, feel like you can put paws on a man, pull weapons on a man, be violent towards a man. You should get the smoke and the fire. That's a quality equal comment. My thing is, why don't y'all fight these hyenas? Why don't you fight the sisterhood? Because I would argue you need protection from these heifers and you need protection from yourself. But a lot of you women don't want to hear that. You needed to check your behavior. You need a man who will check you on your behavior and your degenerate behavior. I'm talking about a man of quality, a man of integrity, a man who's about progression, a man who's about prosperity. But y'all think that's boring. A man who has a moral compass, values. Y'all don't fuck with that type of dude. Now, I don't know you, but I'm saying in general. So because this black woman, because this black woman didn't care that Kevin Samuels died, she was happy. That means she doesn't deserve protection. You don't deserve protection. You don't deserve protection. Why should a woman, why should a man that you don't, if you want protection, um, call your father, call your brother, call the men in your family. Let them simps be batteries in the back. And my thing is, it's their prerogative. You want protection? Like I said, protection starts with you. Self-preservation. Common sense. Be aware of your surroundings. If you don't feel comfortable being in certain places, don't be in certain environments. I don't go to certain environments. As a man, I don't fuck with certain places. Especially when shit gonna pop off. That's not being a coward. That's just being smart. I don't hang with certain people. A lot of you women, y'all don't do that. Y'all hang with whoever the fuck you want to hang with and you want me to save you. No. You want to start some, you want to get confrontational to a random dude. You look like a fucking 304. You look like a fucking prostitute instead of being in your feminine and have feminine energy and, and you will get respect by all people. But you choose not to do that. You have every excuse not to listen. If you cannot listen and abide by my rules as a protector, then you should protect your damn self and shut the fuck up. You women don't want to do that. No, you don't deserve protection if you're rejoicing over the death of a black man because you don't like the, what the fuck he said. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's like me trashing all black women. All you black women are bitches and hoes. All y'all gold diggers. All y'all choose thugs. All y'all, y'all don't respect good men. All y'all violent. Y'all abusive. Y'all, and a lot of y'all have took advantage of children. Took advantage of these boys. You had a black woman, a black boy who got sexualized on Facebook. This is not the only, that's not an isolated incident. You had women grinding on these five-year-old boys, these under, these prepubescent boys 
but you call, will call grown men pedophiles for getting with women who are who are uh, above legal age, legal and, and, and legal drinking age. Y'all will call them pedophiles. Because a man wants to date a man who's in his thirties want to date with a twenty something. You want to you going to call him a pedophile or a girl who who's actually of age, few adolescence puberty. You know, oh, you want to call him a pedophile because you know, you know, we just you know people look y'all be looking at each other, so y'all need to stop. But y'all don't call it when women sleep with these teen when you got grown women. That be lusting after these teenage boys. Oh, y'all don't have a problem with that. But you have women actually groom prepubescent boys. I'm not saying girls didn't go through that. But mostly prepubescent boys. Sexual abuse of boys is real when it comes to women. Aunties, babysitters, nieces, women in the family, older cousins. And you wonder why a lot of these black men lose their virginity at eight, nine years old to these old hoes, to older girls, older teenage girls who can get the, who are, who are like a year or two years away from getting their learner's permit, their driver's license, who are, who are able to, or, who are, uh, you know, who are taking their SATs uh, uh, and can go to prom, junior, junior prom, senior prom. You have females, adult, teenage adults, but what's scary in my age group, late 30s, 40s, talking about I, he, he, I, I want to have let's talk about the most egregious shit. Where's your outrage for that? Because I was because I'm I will pull up that video. I will I will make a post, maybe not today, but as soon as possible. Because it's not it's more than one case. You had a dude, a man who's a celebrity who's a celebrity. Talk about his first sexual experience with sleeping with two big Shirley 30 year old heifers, women in their early to mid 30s, and he they're making him go down on her and stuff on each other, doing all types of sexual stuff and actually having relations. This dude is so traumatized, he can't, he he talks about he has an issue going on on a woman, he don't want to go down on a woman because he he remembers a nasty smell, he has performance issues. And it was all, it was all being joked about. <clears throat> but I guess you don't care about that. I, I'm, I'm just speculating. No, you don't. If you don't respect black men, you don't get no protection. That's like me as a black man. If I trash black women, black women are bitches and hoes. They're gold diggers. They white male worshippers. They treat men, good men like shit. They don't want to fuck with me. They are disrespectful. They don't speak. They're not polite. They don't got good manners. They're not loving. They're not nurturing. They they do men dirty. They they don't they abort these unborn children. They lead y'all lead them in abortions. You know that, right? They deny us access to our children. They break up our families. They steal resources from us. They do they set us up to get harmed. They are disrespectful. They mistreat us. Like and they dehumanize us and feel entitled, even though some of my things may be true. But if for me to make these generalizations that black women ain't shit and black women are hoes and wear weaves and stuff, like, and I said, and then when I get in the situation, I'm looking for y'all to support. Look how y'all cancel Stefan Clark. Look how y'all made fun of the Nigerian guy who got murdered, <coughs> who got beaten, and abused. And got called all types of niggers, niggers, n niggers. And y'all said that's what he gets. When that white female murdered that OnlyFans model, murdered her black boyfriend, y'all said he, he deserved, I'm not supporting him. He don't deserve no, and, so, and a lot of y'all rejoiced after that. I don't know about you, but because... Your justification, their, their justification is that because he said stuff about black, he actually said stuff a lot of black about he was very anti-black, talked about black people, but this black foreigner comes to the state and want to trash all black black Americans stuff, but reaping the benefits of black the black American struggle. But because he disrespected black women, 
Y'all say he don't deserve no support. He don't even deserve justice. Stefan Clark. Y'all said I'm not supporting. I'm not advocating for Stefan Clark or black men who had a tweet or who said something because he said, because he, they discussed certain behaviors that they didn't like about black women. So y'all not going to support and be a nurturer and have empathy and sympathy for the bladder when he gets a, it gets a Negro wake up call. So I don't deserve no support when I trash our black women. So let's say something happens to me. So I'm not going to get no support. So if I got falsely accused by a white hoe, by a cave bitch, you're not going to stand by them and defend me? Because that has happened. I got profiled, and I had a, a bitch make a false police report, and there was a bunch of black women who didn't step in. And I always got, I got assaulted. Now, she didn't connect. I, she didn't, she missed. But the fact of the matter is, I'm a black man, mind my own business, and she want to fuck with me, and none of you black, black folks came to defend me, nor try to put this bitch in prison, or try to do that street justice. Or make sure I got justice. I didn't get no, I got... I got arrested later on. I had a court case. Where was the, 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 the black woman supporting me? I, can, I put phone numbers and what you can do to call, but none of y'all want to have help, help a brother out. Make it make sense. You're saying that's hilarious to, to me. However, however, not hilarious. Ha ha. Weird. No, no, dollface. You're the one who's weird. Because that logic is the reason why black men are, are done with y'all. And that's not being on no coon shit. That's not being a swirler. We're just done with American women. We're just done with America and we just want to go elsewhere. Regardless of how you feel about it personally, that's our choice. Maybe you're not like that, but here's the thing. If I saw a pack of lions coming at my direction, you think I'm going to stay? You think I'm not going to have my gun ready? You don't think I'm going to have, I, I, you, think, you don't think I'm going to just, you know what? Maybe they're not, maybe, the, maybe they're, these lions are not all bad. Maybe there's one, there's some sweet lions in that stampede. No, I'm getting the fuck away. The problem is many black women have not separated themselves, but the, the very few have who have done that, guess what happens to those sisters? They get called pick me's. Kid called mammies. They get threatened by these black women with violence. Their families get threatened. Why? Because she told the truth about some of y'all. Some of y'all that y'all got fucked up behaviors and and, and y'all ratchet and the way y'all live is immoral and toxic. But the, the response will be, white women do it too. We don't, we're not talking about them. They're not part of our community. I don't give a shit about what white females do and don't do. As long as they ain't doing, doing no fuck shit here. That's the problem. That's why you don't deserve protection. Because you don't want to protect the protector. <laughs>